Hello, welcome to the PARS Health TV channel. We hope you're having a good day and you are happy and healthy. In this channel, we give you tips to keep you healthy and out of trouble. In this video, we want to talk about the truth of glucosamine supplements and everything you need to know about them. This video is for educational purposes only and if you have any specific condition or illness, you should consult with your doctor. Glucosamine plays a vital role in building and repairing cartilage. Many people take glucosamine supplements in the hope of boosting their joint health. Do they work? If you experience joint pain you may be tempted by supplements such as, glucosamine and chondroitin, which are often taken together, or omega-3 pills such as fish oil. Here, we look at the evidence for when these supplements might help, and other pain management strategies to try. A common question we are asked is, would it help me to take glucosamine and chondroitin sulfate? Glucosamine is a natural sugar that exists in the fluid around the joints, as well as in animal bones, bone marrow, shellfish, and fungi. The glucosamine in supplements usually comes from the shells of shellfish, though there is also a synthetic form. Chondroitin is similar to glucosamine, and also occurs naturally in joints. These were the second most popular dietary supplement after fish oil, and other types of omega-3 fatty acids. However, experts have questioned whether glucosamine supplements are useful, citing a lack of scientific evidence. In this video, we explain what glucosamine is, why people take it, and whether research indicates that the supplements can help. We also look at some possible side effects and other risks. If you like topics like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to see daily videos just like this one. Alright, let's get started. What is glucosamine? Glucosamine and chondroitin sulfate are nutritional supplements and are not subject to the same rigorous regulations required for prescription and non-prescription drugs. Therefore, if you decide to take any supplements, you do so at your own risk. Glucosamine supplements typically come as tablets or capsules, but they are also available as injections. Also, there are various types of glucosamine, and it is not clear whether they have different effects. The types include 1. Glucosamine sulfate 2. Glucosamine hydrochloride 3. N-acetyl glucosamine Some supplements combine glucosamine with other ingredients, such as chondroitin sulfate, shark cartilage, or methyl sulfonyl methane, known as MSM. Some people say that these supplements help with joint pain, but there is not enough scientific evidence to confirm this. The American College of Rheumatologists and the Arthritis Foundation advise people not to use glucosamine or chondroitin sulfate supplements for osteoarthritis. While they are likely to be safe for most people, experts have not confirmed that they work. It is important to keep in mind that the Food and Drug Administration FDA, does not regulate the production of glucosamine products or any other supplements. As a result, it is not possible to know exactly what they contain. Supplements do not always, for example, contain the ingredients listed on their labels. Tests have shown that the glucosamine content in supplements can range from 0 to over 100% of the amount advertised. Also, in some cases, labels listed glucosamine hydrochloride when the supplements contain glucosamine sulfate. Function The body uses glucosamine to build and repair cartilage. Cartilage is a flexible, tough, rubbery connective tissue that protects the bones in the joints. It provides padding and prevents the bones from rubbing together. As people age, their cartilage can become less flexible and start to break down. This can lead to pain, inflammation, and tissue damage, which, for example, occurs in osteoarthritis. There is some evidence that glucosamine might slow this process and benefit cartilage health. Glucosamine occurs naturally in the body, but levels fall as people get older. In time, the reduction could contribute to joint deterioration. Glucosamine and chondroitin supplements a trial of 662 people with knee osteoarthritis finds that these supplements relieve the pain for some people, but over time they were no more effective than a placebo. And more recently, a study of 1,625 people found that using glucosamine and chondroitin over four years did not relieve knee pain or prevent cartilage loss in people with osteoarthritis any better than a placebo. The American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons does not recommend these supplements for osteoarthritis of the knee. What is glucosamine and chondroitin sulfate? Glucosamine sulfate and chondroitin sulfate are naturally occurring substances found in the connective tissues of the body, including the cartilage that covers the ends of bones in the joints. Glucosamine sulfate functions are the primary building block for proteoglycans, large molecules in cartilage that give it viscoelastic, buffering, properties. When taken orally, glucosamine sulfate is absorbed readily into the system and can be traced to cartilage as soon as 4 hours after consumption. 
Similar to non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, glucosamine sulfate has been shown to have unique anti-inflammatory effects. Additionally, in some laboratory tests, the glucosamine supplement demonstrated a protective effect on the cartilage as well. These studies suggest that glucosamine sulfate may inhibit the breakdown of cartilage associated with osteoarthritis, and may have the potential to help build up cartilage. Glucosamine hydrochloride, another form of glucosamine, is available as a nutritional supplement and is considered to be as effective as the sulfate form, although there are fewer completed studies to review. This hydrochloride form of glucosamine is more available for absorption into the body, therefore, a smaller dose delivers an equivalent amount in the system. Chondroitin sulfate is a larger molecule also found in cartilage. Chondroitin sulfate has been studied much less extensively, but early results show that it also seems to work as an anti-inflammatory and reduces pain. Some laboratory studies suggest that chondroitin sulfate may slow cartilage breakdown associated with osteoarthritis and even stimulate cartilage growth. Who should take glucosamine or chondroitin sulfate? Many patients who suffer from osteoarthritis may benefit from the positive effects of taking this supplement. The painful symptoms of osteoarthritis may appear when cartilage becomes worn, and exposed bones begin to rub together. Conventional medicine does not yet have a proven treatment to stop, or slow the progression of osteoarthritis. Traditional medical treatment includes drug therapy to control the pain associated with osteoarthritis. These treatments are sometimes disappointing for physicians and patients, because medications may not provide complete relief, and can have unwanted side effects. Some of these patients may be candidates for nutritional supplements like glucosamine and chondroitin sulfate. How do I take these supplements? 1. The typical dosage is 1,500 mg for glucosamine sulfate, and 1,200 mg for chondroitin sulfate, taken once daily. For body weight less than 100 pounds, the dose is generally reduced to 1,000 mg for glucosamine sulfate, and 800 mg for chondroitin sulfate. 2. The duration of treatment has not yet been determined. 3. Reported improvement, for example reduction in painful symptoms, varies from 3 weeks to as much as 8 weeks. 4. Some studies have shown continued improvement of symptoms after oral intake was stopped. 5. Generally, if there is no pain reduction after 2 months, there is little chance of improvement. 6. Patients should keep a diary of their symptoms when treatment begins to better judge any changes in pain level or joint movement, and this information should be shared with their physician. What are the side effects of taking glucosamine and chondroitin sulfate? Side effects of glucosamine appear to be mild and infrequent, but they can include indigestion, constipation, diarrhea, headaches, rashes, nausea, gastrointestinal upset. Oral glucosamine supplements are likely safe when taken correctly and by adults, but that some people have experienced mild side effects, including drowsiness, skin reactions, and headaches. They report that the injectable form is possibly safe, when administered into the muscle twice a week for up to six weeks. These side effects are reported in a small portion of patients. However, even substances that are found naturally in the body can have unpredictable results, when taken in higher than normal quantities and different formulations. This is particularly true with patients who are taking multiple medications, or who have other diagnosed illnesses. What to do instead? One step is to lose weight. Research suggests that every pound of excess weight you shed can take about 4 pounds of pressure off the knees when walking. Strength training can help build up the muscles that support the affected joint. Gentle, low-impact exercise such as swimming and walking can relieve dull knee pain by keeping the joints flexible and lubricated, Lipman says. Oral glucosamine supplements appear to be relatively safe for adults without asthma, allergies, or diabetes, and for those who are not pregnant or breastfeeding. However, conclusive evidence that it can treat joint complaints and other health issues is currently lacking. For advocates of glucosamine or chondroitin, studies finding no benefit are unlikely to be the last word. There are different types and doses available, and they are taken for many different conditions. There may be certain situations in which they are particularly helpful. We'll need additional research to know what they are. If you are interested in videos like this, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We hope you have a wonderful day. See you in the next video.